In this live career coaching session, we will be talking all about personal development. And one of the key things that I've seen that make people really develop and get further in their career is what we call personal development. For those of you who are meeting me for the very first time, yes, my name is Daniel Mutuku, founder of Career Point Solutions. Over the last year, 11 years actually, not nine years, serving as a career coach and also personal um, career coach, personal and professional advisor. And I'm going to bring in all I've been able to learn over this period of time and share with you. So one of the key missions here at Career Point Solutions is to help people who, uh, to become more employable and to increase their earning potential. So wherever you're joining us from, know that is our mission. And that is why we are even having this live free coaching session here with you to be able to do exactly that. And my focus today is to talk more about personal development. I have been able to find different definitions around what is personal development, but the best I've found or I came up with is to say this is the intentional and deliberate um, actions that you take to be able to, number one, acquire a new skill and you'll see the value of getting these skills and or improving an existing skill that you have that will enable you achieve your goals, your objective much faster. Now, there are several things that are encompassed in that definition, and that is what we're going to discuss. Number one, there's the setting of goal. What is it that you want to achieve? It might be in, a, uh, on your, in your personal life. It might be in your professional life. It might be in your relationship, in your finances, in your health and fitness, you name it, whatever you want to um, go forward and achieve. Then you can be able to create a plan. And that is what we talk about. You being very deliberate, yeah? Let me pull in here and say, you need to be very deliberate and intentional in terms of what is it that you want to achieve. Now, there's some things that are usually good to go for, probably because that is what the society has taught us we need to go for. Um, there are some things that it's all about, uh, maybe some expectations from your parents, from your uh, relatives, from your teachers, from the society around you. But is it something that you really want to go for? That is something that you can be able to uh, find out. And then being able to learn to acquire the skills that will enable you to achieve that goal. That being a very, very specific thing. The main, the biggest difference between the successful people, those who make it in their careers, and those who just flamber around, it's about skills. What skills do you have? What skills enable you to achieve uh, your goals? When we are doing recruitment, when an employer is looking for a specific employee, the key thing would be, what can you do for us? What skills do you have that will enable us get to? Um, for example, you're looking for an accountant. You want someone who knows the accounting stuff, the balance sheets and those things. When we are looking for a customer care service, we want someone who knows how to talk, to communicate, to express themselves. So communication will be a key skill that you need to learn. So yes, skills is a big part of it. Thank you very much. I can see several of us coming here live and they're saying we are doing a good job with Cliff uh, uh, Garoya. I really appreciate that. By the way, let me know where you're joining us from. And if you have any questions based on what I will share or anything that you have around your career, this is a free career coaching session make sure you drop in your questions. I also want to appreciate Katrin Kabata saying thank you for your guidance. You're very much welcome. If you have any question, feel free to drop that in the chat. Now, let me proceed and um, say this. Yeah, there's the bit of training, there's motivation. Training is very important, creativity, developing your vision and all that. Now, let's uh, dig a little bit deeper and understand why is this concept of personal development very important? Uh, 99% of people when they are going for an interview, they are very much concerned about the question, how much, uh, what, how will they answer the question? How much should we pay you? How much should we pay you? Yeah. And it's the main thing that is running in your head. And when they are asked that question, why, how much should we pay? You, they get confused and things don't go as they had planned. So let's try and debug and see the best way to approach that. Now, why do we get paid? Number one, we get paid 
as a compensation of this goods and services that we offer. Now, if you're in business, you might be offering a specific good. You're selling pens, you're selling mouse, you're selling a computer, you're selling whatever it is, a shoe, a glass of water. Uh, then we have services that we offer. You are, most of us as employees, yeah, we are offering a certain service. We are coming in there as the IT person, the engineer. The, there's a service that you're offering or you're doing consulting. Whenever you get paid, in any of those situations it's a matter of you being compensated for the value that you're bringing in this value might come in the form of a good or a service but both of us are in the service industry yeah then uh thank you very much i can see nisa she says that she's joining us all the way in dollar in, in dollar zambia welcome very much i really appreciate that yeah uh, and it goes then without saying if you're providing a service and you're being compensated for that, then the more value you are able to give, the more valuable you become as an individual, the more money you should be paid or the more you can be able to demand or negotiate for. So the whole conversation, it's all about value that you're bringing in and how that organization values that thing. So let me give you an example. If you have um, 50 shillings, or let's talk about 100, Bob, yeah? In Kenya, shillings is 100. Um, it can be an average of $1, US dollars. So irrespective of where you are, you can figure out one US dollar, yeah? What can you buy with one, uh, one US dollar or 100 shillings? It might be a meal. It might be, I don't know, whatever, yeah? you want to buy at 100 shillings in other words you're saying this is value that i'm willing to exchange for this but again when you talk about 1000 shillings that is representing a different value there are some things that you're willing to pay for in exchange of that 1000 or 100 no that, that is 10 usd 10 usd and you will find that one you value more than the other yeah um if you want to buy something like a car yeah you know it's more valuable because it's going to give you more service so you're willing to put in more money but if you want just to buy a bottle of water maybe the value you attach to it might not be that much so that is what you need to think about especially when you want to start negotiating your salary and all that it's all a matter of value so what makes us valuable as individuals when we go to the uh, negotiating table what is it that you will say or you will have that will make you valuable and you can be able to demand or negotiate for a higher salary skills what makes you valuable is what we call skills we have two types of skills we have what we call technical skills and we also have soft skills now technical skills are dependent on the the, the, the career line that you're in maybe you are i like giving examples with an accountant yeah because it starts with a next time we look for b b will be maybe business manager yeah or an administrator there are certain skills that you need to have you need to know how to if it is an accountant you need to know how to balance those balance sheets you need to know how to use certain softwares like is it quickbooks we have the uh, SAP and something like that. So those would be very technical skills for that specific. Now, someone who's doing accounting will have totally different technical skills with someone who is doing business management, someone who is doing business development, someone who is doing marketing. Maybe they need to know a bit of digital marketing, online marketing, social media marketing, and such stuff. So those would be very specific technical skills in that specific area. Secondly, we also have the soft skills now soft skills are skills that cut across all the different types of fields leadership skills communication skills organization skills these an accountant will need to have a business development person will need to have a lawyer an it person an engineer you name them so these are different types of skills that anyone would uh, can have and the next question you need to ask 
what is the skill that I need right now to be able to move to the next level of my career? What technical skills can I acquire? What soft skill can I be able to acquire? Let me answer some of the questions I can see uh, coming in. Lillian saying, hi, hi, how are you doing? Great to have you uh, around. I can see Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Danny. Unfortunately, some sectors of employment are guided by job grades. Yeah, group, especially public service. Here, I am an employee. Um, here, an employee's value may go unrewarded for some time. Yes, that is an unfortunate situation. Yeah, as you say, unfortunate. And especially with the um, private um, sector, the government, um, they have, yes, the job grades. And actually, initially, the job grouping and job grades are supposed to show like someone at this job group is able to provide more value. And so they are compensated much higher. You work for two, three, five years, maybe you move from this group to the other group because you have the experience, you know how to do a specific thing. But it doesn't necessarily translate the same into the real one. And I remember we discussed this with you and you say, um, there's usually, they say, if you can't beat them, so what do you do? You don't necessarily join them, you just change the game, yeah? You don't necessarily need to stay in a place where you're not being appreciated for the value that you're bringing in, if you get an opportunity out there that is, or an organization that really values and uh, compensate based on the value that you're bringing in, then we go for that, right? I know we have talked more about that, but thank you, Rachel, for coming in. I can say somebody said, hey, hello, thank you very much. I want to know where you're joining us from. I'm here to answer all the questions that you might have in regards to career careers this is a free career coaching session and today i'm more focusing on personal development but still feel free to drop in any question that you might have now i can see the actual you're asking is it possible to touch the what potential employer use um what potential employers use the linkedin link um that we are advised to put on our resume if any how often do you need to make amendments on your profile on your LinkedIn? This is a very good question, yeah? Uh, and actually, I'll take time to discuss that. Now, LinkedIn is one, is not one. It is the biggest professional networking platform, yeah? And let me do this. I want to show you my LinkedIn profile. Um, here, I think this is already incognito, so I need to log in. I need to open one. So LinkedIn is one of the, it's the biggest professional networking platform. And if you use it correctly, you can be able to get um, players getting in touch with you. So according to your question, you're asking, what is it that we need to put on the LinkedIn so that it can be able to attract the potential employer. So there are several things that you need to look into. And that is what I normally call optimizing your LinkedIn profile. So I think I should be able to share this window here. So this is my LinkedIn profile. Yeah, still loading. So when I log into my LinkedIn, this is what I'm able to see um, network is a little bit slow. Yeah. So as I said, no more social networking platform. You can see other people's posts um, and all that. Now, I think we will come back. We'll look at Susan's uh, profile. Let me actually put it on the side there. She's one of my friends. And so if you put in your LinkedIn profile, this is what employers are looking for. So let me take a look at my profile. And there are some pointers I'm going to point out. Number one, you need to have a professional photo as your profile image. Yeah. As I normally say, this is not a platform. Oh, it's still small. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Yes, there we go. This is not a platform where you put in a photo of you, your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband dogs, cats, and all that. Yeah, just have a photo about you, uh, a clear headshot. Now, you don't need to go to a studio, but if you have a photo that shows clearly this is your face, that would be the first thing that you need to work on. The second thing I would direct you to do 
if possible, you can have this banner be like your billboard that is talking about you and what you're capable of doing. Yeah. Um, you don't need to be a graphic designer. You can still be able to do a very good cover using an application called Canva. It will give you the right uh, dimensions. What is the message that you would want people to know about you? Imagine you have a billboard about yourself and this is what employers are looking for. What do you put there across? So if you look at my saying, helping professionals succeed in their career, yes, I'm not necessarily looking for employment, but I am looking to help these professionals. So I put it out, right? This is what I do. Yeah. You as your, in your different things, what do you put? Now, this is not compulsory, but you can still do it. You can see it gives your profile a much better look. Then I want you to focus on this section here. Now, this section is called your headline. So when you're doing editing, you're editing your profile, you will see a section where you put your headline. Now, a headline, basically, by default, it depicts your recent position in your current company or your last position. So if I hadn't changed, if you look at my last position that I put here, it says career coach at career point solution so basically that is what it will be reading it will just be reading here career coach at career point solutions yeah which sounds good which okay but you still have an opportunity to change and say you can number one talk about the different positions you can hold you can write project manager project uh, coordinator uh, project monitoring evaluation whatever skills you have what kind of job that roles you can take or you can write it in form of a paragraph like I have done here. I help professionals get a six-figure salary with NGOs, the UN, inter and international organizations. So the template you would use, you would say something like, I help, I assist. So if you're an accountant, you might wonder, yes, I help companies get their financials straight or get reports or whatever it is. So you are actually talking about the value that you're bringing on board in a quick short paragraph i think it's supposed to be about Hopefully you can now see me. We are okay. We are doing well. But feel free to drop something in the. Uh, let me see the chat. Do, can you see me? You can hear me. We are back. Hopefully we are. I will try to refresh this page. I think network flicked on me. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Are we back? Uh. Let me see. Thank you. I can see. Oh, how we get the jobs. Okay, I'll share with you how do you get the jobs. I can see now the comments are coming in. Thanks. Uh, kindly. Project Father. Oh, you can't hear me. Might be the audio is a problem. Okay, somebody is saying, please speak slowly. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> but unfortunately, today I'm really speaking very slowly. I speak faster than this. 
I've tried to learn how to slow it down. But thank you for your feedback. You can hear me. Okay, thank you. At least I have someone saying, yes, we can hear you. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is um, Mahi. The rest of us, we are good. You can hear me. At least drop something in the chat. I want to confirm. You can see me. You can hear me. Then we can be able to proceed. Um, I've, I've talked much about this. Uh, Liato, are you getting value? Do you now understand what is expected of you? I think I've taken longer than expected here. Yeah? So, yeah, you're joining us all the way in Pakistan. Good to have you. Good to have you. I want to believe. Liato, are you still there? If you're getting value out of this, let me know. Let me know. So, I think the point was, yeah. And the other thing I would say, I've talked about the photo profile, the headline. We also have this section, forget about this analytics and all that. There's this section about, about you. So here you can explain further about yourself in like a paragraph, two, three more words, yeah? The top part was just the short uh, thing. So those would be the things that you need to focus on. I would also say focus on your experience, feeling your experience, your education, the key skills that you have have people actually endorse you recommend others and yeah those would be the key things that you will need to focus on are we good thank you so if you have any questions feel free to drop that in the chat oh i can see you there saying sure you found it helpful so photo background uh the profile photo uh, image your headline about us you will see most of it is more like your CV. By the way, we do professional CVs, and most of this information you can just copy and paste from the CV. So that is what you need to focus on. Yeah, I can see you've got it fine. Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to drop in your questions in the chat. I will be taking your questions and answering them here. Evelyn, have I been able to project enough? Yeah, Evelyn, confirm. I'm loud enough. If not, I will need to change some uh, stuff. Okay, let me share this. I go back to something else I was talking about. Okay, good. So we talk about skills. Skills are the things that will separate you from if uh, those who are successful and those who are not successful. And that is the whole aspect of personal development. Personal development is about moving forward. There is no going back. Actually, you are either red, ripe, and rotting. Or you might be green and growing so there's a japanese saying that says a cup which is full is uh, useless yeah because there's nothing more you can add to it but a cup that is empty or half empty there's always something that you can add to it so personal development is about moving forward you can't stay stagnant you're either moving forward or falling behind or you're either red ripe and rotting or you are green and growing be very deliberate in terms of what skills do you want to acquire to move forward don't think you're in the same place if the year began and you think you're in the same place as you are the year as when the year began because you have not developed yourself you've not added any new skills you've not interacted with new people the bad news is that you're falling behind there's nothing like uh, staying stagnant when everyone else is moving forward, you actually fall uh, behind. Yeah. Question here. If you don't mind, give us your contact details. I can be able to share with you my email address. Feel free to get in touch with me. That's my email address. Daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. Is that okay? Please note that down. Next.
today is one of those days that network decides to disappoint me but anyway we still have to go on let me answer the questions quickly and then we can be able to finish up now hey i'm looking for a job with ngos british and i'm amazing speaker what do you what can you offer thank you very much for that i think we can do a more one-on-one -on -one Yeah, you just need to drop me an email. Uh, let me see where we are at. So the network, I have some issues with the network. Drop me an email, yeah? We can be able to discuss further about that. Is that okay? Let me see, I think I saw another question. I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you for your feedback. I think that was okay. Yeah, thanks somebody from Bangladesh. I really appreciate that. And we have Joseph joining us from Kenya, Nairobi, uh, Moranga. Good, good, good. So let me finish up by saying this. Yeah? A few things I would want to share. I came to learn about this thing called the E to E ratio. And this is the bigger, the thing that separates the people who are successful and those who are not, yeah? So, 5%, the high, the top 5% of successful individual in our society, it is said they spend 95% of their time in education and only 5% in entertainment. Most of us spend most of our time in entertainment and only 5% or even some 0% in education. And you know, when you say education, I'm not saying you need to go back to school. You don't necessarily need to go back to school. But there are a lot of resources that you can use. Remember, this education is to further you, your skills, learn a new skill, or develop an existing skill to make you more valuable, right? So instead of spending too much time on Instagram, social media, Facebook, you name them, yeah? Just checking out cats and dogs videos and admiring other people's quote-unquote fake lives, you can take that time and put it in education. You can learn a lot from YouTube, reading a book, attending a workshop, a free webinar just like this. I'm sure there are sim uh, several things that you have learned that can really make a very big difference in your life. When do you get the time? Being Papa Sweet, your time is very important. You can create a morning and the evening routine. Um, For example, if you normally wake up at 6 a.m., yeah, I want to give you a challenge. In the next one year, yeah, just wake up 10 minutes early. Yeah. I might think it's only 10 minutes, but when you do 10 minutes times 365, that is about 3,650 minutes. Divide that by 60, that is almost it. when I do my math. That's about 60 hours you have added to your life by just waking up 10 minutes early. Use commute time. I call it the commute university community university you learn while you are in transit here in Nairobi Kenya on average you spend about two hours on average in traffic one hour in the morning another one hour in the evening again depending on where you stay and where you work and the route that you use it might be more or less but instead of spending too much time on social media and other stuff use that for your education I call it the community university Listen to an audio book, a podcast, YouTube, an online course. There's lots of and lots of things you can do during that time. Create a before and after working routine that would work for you. Uh, the biggest investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. That is Warren Buffett, one of the richest people, and he realizes for you to really succeed is not about investing in real estate, in uh, stock market, and all those other things. It's all about investing in yourself. It is said for every shilling, for every dollar you invest in yourself, you will return 30 shillings, $30. That is a 3,000% return on investment. You can see the greatest value you can be able to get from that. I think I want to stop there. Okay, there's one more, 10, the 10, 10 rule. It's there from Brian Tracy. Um, I learned this, the 10, 10 rule. And it's really made me change how i perceive life and personal development 
the rule works like we have been brought up and be told that we need to take 10 percent of our income and tithe it use it to help other people i want to challenge you why not use another 10 percent of your income and tithe it to yourself use it to help yourself use it to fund your own personal development I've already shared with you so many free resources that you can use on YouTube, podcast, audiobooks. But at some point, you will need to pay maybe to attend a workshop, to go for a seminar, an online course. Some are free, some you need to pay for. Where do you get the money? Investing in yourself. That is the fund that you create. So this was revolutionary back in 2015. I think 2015, I learned about this. I've continuously been investing in myself, buying courses, signing up for programs and i can tell you it's a worth investment i keep on increasing my earning potential year over year because i have learned something new that i didn't know last year and it becomes an income stream it becomes a profit center for me so i challenge you to also do that if you have any question drop them drop them drop them uh nicola um british mentor in all fields things I appreciate that we can be able to talk more drop me an email i can even send you my phone number or email then we can chat and see i can invite you one of these fine days you can come and um, share maybe we can pick up a topic and you can come and share li live here during this session it would that be something that you'll be interested in nicola let me know yeah let me pull out my email again so that you can drop me an email and then we can talk more about that is that okay uh one uh who else is coming here we have uh nesta ahmed saying thank you i really appreciate that and finally i think i will stop here this is uh one of my mentors yeah jim ron he says the more valuable you become in your company the more influence you have the better communicator you are you manage your time much better and you recognize people for their contribution you are also you also become more valuable as a spouse parent and a friend and that is the magic about personal development the magic about personal development is that when you become better when you develop yourself it is not only valuable to you but the value also spills over to the people around you, to your spouse, to your friends, to your neighbors, to your children. Yeah, you become better. And if you look at this statement, yeah, when you become better in uh, your workplace, you become more, in, uh, you, um, the more influence you have. You know, influence is a learnable skill. It's some of those soft skills that I was talking about. You can learn to, uh, to become an influencer or to just influence, negotiate. Yeah, become, you are able to influence more become a better communicator that is also a soft skill you also become uh you're able to recognize people for their contribution do you know we had a discussion the other day with some of the coaches and i remember there's a lady called uh benedict karanja and the question was about dealing with difficult or toxic bosses and environment and she said some of these toxic bosses it's because they lack emotional intelligence. They don't know how to recognize others for their contribution. They are so focused on themselves and what they want to get and what they can do and what how they can be praised. Yeah. So learning how to recognize others for their own contribution is a key skill that we need to learn. Yeah. I can see it's just say thank you. Uh, Joseph, Joseph is talking about uh, the presentation is good. I really appreciate it. Now, one last thing I want to mention here is that we have a lot of free resources that we offer here at Career Point Solutions. And before we do that, yeah, would you want to pick any of these professional development skills? Actually, we did a survey back in 2019, yeah, and we found out that we just ask what, what key skill is it that if you learn can really move you to the next level in your career yeah and you can see here we have communication skills goal setting creating a personal development plan time management creative speaking and public speaking and maybe this would be a good place for you to start when you're asking 
where do or which skill should I get? Pick one of these. I would really uh, be happy to help you in that direction. So let's talk about some of the free resources that we offer here at Career Point Solutions. We have what we call free CV review. So in the chat, I have dropped in the link for you to get access to all these free resources. The first one, you get a free CV review. Send us your CV, we look at it, and then we'll tell you what needs to be done to make it professional. Uh, yeah, there's the link in the chat. We also, let me just go through the very quickly, the ultimate cover letter guide, 101 sample cover letters for all professionals. We want you to make a very great first impression with that perfect cover letter. And that is why we are giving this guide 100% free. Just click on that link and then you go and download. We also have another event we call, um, whereby we are helping people on how they can be able to get jobs with NGOs, the UN and international organization. Click on that link, save your seat, and we will be meeting this coming Thursday. Yeah. We also have um, free trainings on how to get jobs with the UN. If you want to get an online job, we have 21 best and legit online jobs. This is a beginner guide and even intermediate guide. People who want to make money online and some extra income, this would be a good place to start. Also, you can book for a free coaching session and you can also create a free candidate profile. So all these are resources that you can be able to get on that link that I have dropped in the chat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Stella, joining us all the way in Uganda. You're very much welcome. I really appreciate. Hopefully, this has been a great session. You have learned something despite challenges with my network today. I don't know, but we're good. If you got value, just drop some thumbs up in the chat or just say thank you or say something, and then I can be able to call it a day. Thank you. I can see already they're coming in. Ahmed Wazir, you're saying, thanks for the lecture, sir. You're very much welcome. I appreciate that. If you've gotten value, just drop something in the chat. Say yes, thank you, welcome, and then we can call it a day. Yeah, I can see June or oh, Ju, Ju, Ju. That's how you pronounce it, yeah? Not June. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate Karibu Shana. Who else has gotten value out of it? So I'll wait. I can see we still have a few people online. I'll wait for you to drop that in the chat, and then we'll call it a day. Thank you, thank you. This has been great. Um, tomorrow, we have a guest speaker. Uh, might come a little bit later in the day, um, and you'll see what she will share about mentorship, how you can get mentorship, how he has been engaging mentorship and all that. Yeah, Jude saying thank you very much for the, I appreciate that you're joining us all the way in Maya maya hopefully i pronounce it okay until the next time i'm out